Wofford. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I, I'm going to try to stump somebody with a riddle. There you go. Uh, I'm not closed, but I cover your body. The more I'm used, the thinner I grow. What am I? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, say again? I am closed. I am not clothes, but I cover your body. The more I'm used, the thinner I grow. What am I? Hmm. That's easy. Go, go ahead and roll uh, your riddle. Oh, come on. Why are How you do making you roll hard? for a riddle? I, I'm, I'm making him roll a for a riddle because back. there's actually a riddle skill. And besides, I want a target number. Oh, well. Uh, apparently, I told it poorly. Okay, you, you told it poorly, but do any of you want to try and riddle your way through it? I do. Go ahead. Roll okay. riddle. Okay, well, that's that's better than the eight. In this particular instance, we're just uh, doing a comparison. Um, what do you, as the player, think it is? Uh, body? No. Fat? <laughs> no. Nope. Anyone else? Work out, you get thinner. We'll see if I, I do any better. That's okay. Yeah, give it a shot. Okay, Radigand? No, you didn't do better. Uh, okay. All right, Yuld. You've got a great what, success. Hmm? Happy skin? It would... It, if I'm not mistaken, skin? it is. No, it's no, not skin. It's not skin. It's not skin. It's not skin. <laughs> do you want... Uh, Andrew, do you want to whisper the uh, answer to... Uh, to... Uh, uh, Ewald? Ewald? That is a wonderful idea. Uh, how the hell do I whisper it? In this okay. Uh, for, uh, go to your chat, uh, type forward uh -huh. slash W space I W W I W A L D and then go with a space and give them the answer. Because that's a really good roll. Okay. Yes. No, you yes, you you good. went with a backslash instead of a forward slash. So yeah, that's everybody sees it. That. <laughs> that's why that's why I that's why I did it that way. Is this the whisper? Okay, go the other way with the slash. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you want to share that, or are you going to keep it to yourself? <laughs> uh, sure, I'll share it. Share it. Okay. Bar of soap. Bar oh. of soap. Okay. It makes sense when you think about it. Yeah, I would think lather more than than the soap itself, but uh, yeah, that makes sense. That's pretty cool. Okay, Walford, what are you going to do for the rest of the night now that you've stumped almost everybody? Almost everybody. Somebody got it. Yeah. Uh, who was it that got it? I, uh, Yield. Uh, Yield? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I might have told him this riddle once before. <laughs> sure, we'll get to that. Sure, <laughs> sure. sure uh, why not? That's what I'm going to go with so I don't feel so bad. That's my yeah. story and I'm sticking to it? Exactly. <laughs> uh, like I said, a a after that, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, except that I, you know, I come back through after doing that. And notice uh, Duada, <laughs> like you know, Dota. sliding uh, Dota, Duoda, uh, <laughs> slipping under the table, huh? and, and and try to get our friends to like uh -huh. get her back to her room. Okay, yeah, I'll help with that. Yeah, I help with that. <laughs> she's too big. I can't carry her. We got it. We got it. We got it. Don't worry about it. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and uh, uh, since I, 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 I'm a hobbit, for God's sakes, everybody's too big. I can't carry them. Mm. <laughs> oh, except other hobbits. 
Um, okay, so uh, Egil or Eagle or however he wants to pronounce his name is not here. Uh, he won't arrive until like the next morning. So you all go and lay down uh, and and in your various spots. Uh, you've had an excellent evening of getting to know one another, getting to know about the sickle of the moon, etc. Next morning comes, and of course, you know that the the chickens are the cocks are crowing like crazy. So they're uh, it's not hard to wake you all up, even though I don't know about headaches and whatnot. The young generally don't get headaches too badly. So, um. And since all of you are like below the age of twenty-five, except for um, except for Norrin and Luthwin, I think. Well, I'm technically in, in that teenage range. Of yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm young, very young and so. Well, but yeah. dwarves can typically well, handle their liquor. <laughs> oh yeah, I can. Well, Kimberly had like you know thirty tankers. Mm-hmm. I only had like three. <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> so once the sun is well above the the horizon, um, <clears throat> um, a a very cheap horn blow <clears throat> blows. Pardon me for just a second, folks. I shouldn't have taken a candy. Pardon me. So. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I'm not joking. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, a cheap horn blows, and you can hear um, a small procession of wagons. There's about three wagons and several horses to to uh, uh, pull them, and uh, you hear basically, "All hail, Marshal Torbald!" Oh, it's not really that big of a deal because he's just last year's winner. But I guess he decided to invest in a little bit to make himself bigger than what he actually is. Um, by the time, uh, by the time all of you are around and and ready to go and more or less sober, um, he uh, the horn sounds again and he steps up on stage. He says, "Good morning to all of you." And welcome to the third festival of the moon. I have seven challenges for you this year. And uh, there will be the opportunity for seven winners. Uh, once you have negotiated with the families that you intend to to work with. And he, at this point, he's looking at each each adventurer in the crowd kind of individually because he does not recognize your faces. Um, he is from a nearby farm, uh, but he is very familiar with the people in this area. Uh, so, well, wouldn't he know my character then? Because I'm from around here. Yes, uh, matter of fact, he does not look at Duota because um, you are from that area. Okay, you are from right there. So, he, uh, um, uh, it's not that he's ignoring you or anything, it's just you're not from out of town. So, uh, so he says, and here are the challenges for this year. Um, the seven trials are, uh, the stage of the nobles is first, where, um, you will each... Um, for those of you who choose to participate, you will uh, uh, find that you need to have an ornate speech prepared because our our Lord uh, Beorn despises civilized conversation, and thus we have some fun with it, uh, and he too can laugh. When he is here. I do not know if he is going to show up this year or not. Next is Thimble Rig. Uh, which is uh, where we take a dried pea. And put it under a number of thimbles. Uh, that are moved and stacked against one another. And this pea is shuffled around. And if you guess it correctly. 
uh, uh, and perhaps even impress those of us who will be watching, you will do well. Tonight, this evening, will be the Torch Race. There will only be the three events today. There will be four tomorrow. Tonight will be the Torch Race, where you are set to go over several obstacles. On fire. And you are required to keep your torch lit. If at any point your torch goes out, you are immediately out of that race. And uh, for Walford's little thing that he just said, there are a few people around him, uh, both villagers and not, uh, who kind of giggle a little bit. But Torbald ignores them and goes on. Tomorrow morning, we will start with the race of the Seeking Field, field which is where you will find you. it is more or less a um, a hunt for items okay and the one who finds the most of a particular type of item and i'm not going to tell you what it is will win after that will be the riddle game let's see who is that oh jamie just came back on hey hey are you out of work now or did it just no, get no, slow? Still at work. it just got it slow. just got slow. It just got slow after getting my ass slammed. Uh, yeah. Well, that happens on Sunday nights, you know. Um, okay. So Especially we're... on the night of mm -hmm. closing a tournament. A tournament? Like a, like a baseball tournament. Oh, that's right. Those guys have been practicing over there for a long time. Anyway, uh, I'm going on about the various types of events that uh, can take place in uh or that are going to take place for this particular festival of the moon and i was just starting on tomorrow's uh things the the seeking field where you find copper coins and various baubles but there are uh, special items that you're looking for in particular that they who find the most of them uh will win uh after that mm-hmm after that is the ancient game, which is, which deals with riddles. And at this, Torvald actually spits Walford with a glare. Um, obviously, he knows something about hobbits. <laughs> and um, they're penchant for riddles. But here's the deal. Oh, you better watch out, Walford. The riddles will be, be asked out loud. But the answers must be whispered to the riddle maker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Interesting. After that, in the early afternoon, uh, we will have Mean Shurak. And at this, almost as if a button was pushed on the bull, the bull just roars at this point and, and makes a show of banging against the, the wooden walls of his cage. That he is presently in. Um, nobody is near him. He just he hears his name and he goes nuts. You, any brave soul who would climb into the arena with him, must indeed be able to push him back simply through intimidation. Do you think that is Ooh. any of you? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> now, it's uh, gotta be interesting. <laughs> I'm sure there's That's some good natured ribbing at some people. Just show someone's your face. <laughs> you know? Oh, certainly. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. This is gonna be damn fun. What's that again, Ross? Would you be able to we really win one event. Right, and and I'm about to get to that. Uh, 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 Cat, what were you saying? Uh, would you be able to use an all roll for that? Uh, as a matter of fact, that is is where we'll be going. These these events are not designed to take up a whole bucket load of time. They will probably take the rest of this evening to do, and maybe into next week a little bit. But um, um, I'm going to need to get Jamie in here with. Uh, it's either Ejil or Eagle, 
uh, one of those two. Eagle. Okay. It's easier to say. I, I'm sorry, cat. But uh, I love Egeal, but uh, Eagle is definitely easier to say. And it would be more fitting for the language. Um, uh, let's see. That is fun. That is pretty fun, Cat. I like I like how you pronounced it. But, yeah, it's Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you understand, Cat. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. Okay. So, finally, no I'm just festival. thought we're doing this on Mondays. Huh? I said I'm just glad we're doing it on a on a Monday instead of a Sunday. When? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? The wondering. Oh no 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 no. We're gonna determine uh, all of that later. I probably left Monday in the description somewhere, but we're gonna determine all of that later. Whether whether we're going to be spelling Torg eternity with another game or not or you know whatever okay and we'll figure all of that out as we're going along we're just kind of taking a a a break from torg eternity for right now uh for the sake of what this happened one. to the alien game uh <laughs> that's uh that's something for a, a discussion for another time let's uh let's go ahead and try and finish up tonight and then if you hang around a little bit after uh, after we're we're done with the recording and the game and everything, we can uh, we can go ahead and discuss that. <laughs> Ouch. Um, <laughs> so, uh, oh. no, okay, no festival would be complete without a song. So on the second day to close out the ceremony, uh, anyone who desires to will be able to speak poetry or sing a song, or write a song uh, that uh, involves something uh, of a familiar term, ter- a tune, a, a version of a familiar tune that, uh, that um, impresses folks or makes them laugh. And the winner of that, of course, will, will have an opportunity at the sickle itself. At this point... Okay, he produces uh, the sickle. Okay, there we go. Now, show players. Whew. Okay, so that is what the sickle of the moon looks like. Uh, he And he goes to kind of give a little bit of the story of the sickle of the moon. Um, let's see. When the first men moved north and swore allegiance to Bayorn, their lord claimed to be a simple farmer and beekeeper. But his subjects soon noticed that fields he harvested with his own sickle did not need to lie fallow for long and were always bountiful. When pressed on the matter, Bayorn showed his new thanes his sickle, an heirloom of times long ago. They called it the sickle of the moon for its shape and engravings, but also because it uh, seemed a field harvested by the sickle needed only a month to recover before it could be seeded again. His thanes wished aloud that they might have such a magical tool to help with their holdings. To forestall jealousy, Bayorn decreed that each year he would present the sickle to one of his subjects, who would hold it for the year and then return it before Bayorn uh, harvested his own crops in late autumn. Uh, then it would go to a new family, but to whom should it go? His thanes proposed a series of contests with the artifact given to one of the winners. In only a few years, uh, yeah, in only a few years, this practice has become the annual Bayorning Harvest Festival, and many try for a chance at the sickle. The competition for the sickle is so fierce that an accepted alternative is for families to sponsor outsiders to compete in their in that family's name. This can help explain why a diverse company might be welcome in in this bayorning tradition. So, all of you have, like I said, been invited uh, to participate in this. Oh, I don't need that. I need to close this. Right. Okay. And uh, so that's, you know, let's go ahead and close that. And uh, and so, and so, each of you are welcome to. Yeah kind of uh bargain with families for most of them it does not matter what uh what your what event you want to participate in um they are just happy to have somebody who will participate for them because again they don't have the strength to do it okay so uh let me take a minute 
and get um, Jamie in here. Um, so, Jamie. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, you were able to get into the game earlier, right? Here, Trace. I'm logging in right now. Okay. All right. So. From my phone, of all things. From your phone, of all things. What do you have, a new phone? <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm about to get one. Yeah. A new phone. Well, hopefully Tomorrow. this will... Hopefully this will allow you to to actually be able to play with us tonight. Um, if not, you know, I can always fire up the laptop. I haven't had it on all day. Um, okay, so let's kind of go. We're 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 gonna go one at a time, and we're gonna we're gonna work through these. It's nine o'clock, uh, so I realize we only have about a half an hour left. So we'll get through probably one or two of these. Okay. So. Uh, Stage of the Nobles is the first one. Bayorn's disdain for the niceties of civilized conversation is well known. Each year, a competition is held to find out which orator can produce the most ornate speech. An audience judges each competitor who tries to outdo the others with overly elaborate euphemisms. Now, do any of you want to try and role-play that? No. no. <laughs> okay, so... In the game, the best way of of showing um, who you are, okay, is to more or less uh, uh, use your courtesy to to get by. Okay, so who among you is interested in playing in this first trial? Walfred. Okay, Walford wants in there. Um, hang on, just uh, a moment. How, can we only participate in one trial at a time? You can participate in any in in as many trials as you want, but you can only win one. So let's go ahead and save that, and let's go ahead. Oh, mm. get close. alas, I'm not that good at. Oh, what what is uh the skill for manners and such? For what? Uh, courtesy. Yeah, courtesy. So, all right, Walford, what is your what is your courtesy? What level? Three. Three. Is it underlined? Yes. Okay. Okay. So nobody else wants to participate in this. I don't even uh, have this. I don't even have courtesy listed as it. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, Fire it up on your laptop, Paul. Uh. Okay, give me a minute. I tried on, on my phone. It d just doesn't work. Okay. Not big enough screen. All right, well, here's what I'll do. Let me get this fired up. And uh, uh, while I'm doing that, if anybody else wants to participate, all you have to do is let me know, and I'll get your courtesy down, and we'll try and go from there. Uh, I'm going to wait until the race of the season fields. Okay. It's probably the one I'm going to focus on. All right. Duota, you said you wanted to try and give it a shot? Yeah. I can te treat this as like a throwaway competition where I try to make it as funny as I possibly can. <laughs> okay, uh, what is Duardo's courtesy? It's just one ad. Okay, one and ad. one ad works. I can understand that. Uh, is courtesy underlined? Yes. It is? Well, Yes. then in that case, let me make sure it's underlined. Okay, uh, anyone else? Let me pull this hmm. up. Do I have courtesy? So, uh, you know what? Let me kind of, let me see if I can look up Heroes, Theft of the Moon, Eagle. Come on, pop open. Pop open. Uh, let's see. Do you have courtesy? Yes, you have courtesy at two and it's favored. Do you want to participate? A lot of rip potato chip. Okay, so let me get this down here. Okay, I am keeping score on this. So, let's see. 
and it is favored at two. Okay, so okay, so here's the deal. Okay, so there are several people who participate in this. It takes probably two or three hours to get these stories. These stories uh, that are told, they're ornate speeches or or uh, decent tales that uh, interest people, uh, stuff like that. So, uh, Walford, I'm going to have you roll first. Now, this is counted as a prolonged test. Okay, that means you're going to do three dice rolls. Okay, um, the okay. F- the first one is at negative two. The second one is at zero, a penalty of zero, and the third one is at uh, uh, a, a penalty of two. So the the first one is actually a bonus of two, then zero, then a penalty of two. The plus and minus work weird in this game. Okay, how do I how do I add and subtract bonuses? Okay, when you click on courtesy, okay. Um, you, a box is going to pop up, and in that box is a way to to make that happen. Okay. Okay, so, I see it. I see it. Bonus and penalty dice, and the ones with X's to the left are the penalties, right? Um, it's supposed to be. Let me. Okay, let me see something. Let me pop open for Galvira, Galvera. Uh, let's see, penalty or bonus dice. You're not actually doing a bonus dice. Uh, okay, uh, bonus penalty dice value, enter a negative value for penalties and a positive value for bonuses. So uh, click on the down arrow for advanced. Okay. And uh, and it, put two in? Yeah, put two in there and then hit roll. It, and it still added two dice, didn't it? Well, you know what? I think so. That's okay. That's okay. Everybody's gonna gonna come in there. Okay, you got a basic success and one Tangwar rune. So that's your first one. So I'm gonna put two successes in there. Okay. Go ahead with your next one. All right. Now the next one's just normal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. You got a basic success, but you also got a uh, a uh, an I. That's not an automatic failure, so that only counts for one. Uh, as far as successes go, it was still a success, so it counts. Uh, and then go ahead for your third one. And that one's going to be at minus two. Yes. And this is going to be the same for both Duota and uh, Eagle. Which you'll have to do. Yeah. Okay. So you got uh, you got an automatic success because of a uh, a Gandalf's rune. So that's going to count for two. Okay. So that means you got a score of five out of that, um, which is great, uh, especially since you're like one of the top contenders. Okay. Um, but of course, the scoring as you're going along, you're telling this long tale, and there's a, a point where your story kind of dips down, and people are the sounds of people grumbling, people falling asleep, people you know doing stuff like that, um, uh, you know, is offset by people jumping up from their seats and and finding great things in victory and and everything like that. So, uh, so Duota, you're next. So you've got your courtesy. Okay. So yeah, go All ahead. Right, so how do I put the minus two? Okay, you're going to go down to the bottom of the window that pops up after you click on courtesy. It's called advanced. It has a down arrow. Click on that. And then you have, ooh, fire truck. Um, you have a bonus or penalty you can put in there. The first one is just going to be uh, a minus Squirrel. two. Squirrel. Hey, I went squirrel. I I went full on squirrel. I'm not even gonna play with it. <laughs> so I know that feeling. Mm-hmm. Squirrel. Just had just had a truck like with, with a diesel engine just blow by the store. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a fail. 
Yeah, so you got nothing on that one. Um, most of the people are starting uh, when you, as you're starting your story. Most of the people are like me, 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 and they're picking on you about it. Okay, they're they're trying to. Heard this one before. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Thing, be not with me. Uh, the, okay, the Nash courtesy test is a zero uh, penalty or bonus. Okay, uh, that one you, you by now. Uh, people are starting to grab fruit um, and vegetables, <laughs> so this third roll better be a good one. Okay, so this one's a plus two? This one's a plus two. Andrew, I think we had you roll wrong. I think I rolled backwards. Yeah. Plus two, regular minus two is the way I went. So, yeah, yeah, I don't guess it matters. You, you still <laughs> scored really well, so yeah. holy smokes. Okay, so up oh, that's a really nice success right there. Okay. Uh, there you go. Uh, but you didn't get any Tangwar runes, so it still only counts as a basic success. So no Tangwar runes, no Gandalf runes. So you scored a one, and by the time you're ready to walk off the stage, somebody's grabbing the hook. Okay, so it's a, it's 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 what they use to gather their lambs and stuff, so that they can pull, kind of pull you off the stage. A okay. shepherd's crook. A shepherd's crook. Thank you very much. That's perfect. Okay, uh, Eagle, do you want me to go ahead and roll for you? Uh oh. Uh oh. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm going to drag his character out here, uh, his token. Wow, it's not allowing me to drag out anything. Okay, there we go. Um, it's out there. Yeah. I'm going to drag out that token. And, okay, so we've got, come on, courtesy. And, oh, am I selected on his token? I think I am. Yeah, selected on his token so that I can make sure I roll the right thing. All right, so first one is a minus two. And then roll. Okay. Let's see. You got a success, but it's only a basic success. Oh, no, you got a failure. I'm sorry. Failure. You rolled a 10 and a 3. It took the 10, which is because you are favored. So that's a, uh, that's a failure. So you're kind of coming so off. I huh? Even though I have two of a, on the level of courtesy? Yes. That's penalty first, then normal, then you're going to get a bonus. Now, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, wait a minute. Okay. Hold on, hold on. That only rolled... That only rolled the two feet die. That did not roll his other two dice. Okay, now, wait a minute. Is it favor for him? So, Duota, you've got three, right? No, Duota, you've got a courtesy of... Oh, okay, okay. It's favored, but he had the minus two. So that actually takes away two dice. So, on the next one. Yeah. So, on the next one, there is no uh, uh, penalty, bonus or penalty. So, let's see. I think this one's going to be still be good. Be... Okay, that one's a good one. But it's a basic success, so you got one out of that. Aww. Yeah, uh, you rolled a three on your feet die, and then two fives on your success dice. So and you need sixes for Tangwar runes. Okay, and the third one, he gets plus two. Okay, roll it. Oh, that one's going to look good. <laughs> Okay, so you got one a success and one Tangwar rune off of that, so that counts as two. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's a total of three for you. Okay, now Galvera, uh, a local, gets up there and she has courtesy at four, but it's not favored. So um, let's get her out here. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm going to leave that one there for now. Uh, let's see. So Gilvera is right there. Let me open her up and get her kind of out of the way. All right. She has courtesy at four, like I said. 
And her first roll is going to be a minus two. And roll. She sucks. Uh, no, not bloody likely. Okay, so she got a failure, but she did get a Tangwar rune out of it. It's still a failure, so that counts for nothing. Okay, on the next one, she doesn't have a penalty or a bonus. That's a success. A success and a Tangwar rune, so that counts as two. Okay, and then her third roll is plus two. I want to see what this does here. Oh yeah, it did add the two dice. Ooh, she got an extraordinary success out of that one. So, oh, oh, she also got a uh, a, a Gandalf rune. So that's two, and then oh, two that's more. That's not a Gandalf rune. Huh? That's not a Gandalf rune. It it shows up as a Gandalf rune in the formula. Oh. If you if you click on the formula, it shows a Gandalf rune. Oh. So that's two for the Gandalf rune, two no, wait, for the Tango. Zero. No, it's an automatic success. It 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 doesn't count as zero in the game. A Tango rune is an automatic success. Here, I'm just okay. counting it for uh, the sake of um, uh, making things uh, uh, work right. If you want, I can find the the rule on that and read it to you. Okay. <sighs> Okay. Do you want me to do that? Oh, no, no. Uh, it's fine. Okay. All right. The end of the uh um the the end of the contest there is no winner announced. It's just everybody did a good job um <clears throat> except a, a certain local um and uh everybody should be proud of what they did and everything like that. So Everybody gets a participation trophy. <laughs> the Bay Earnings <laughs> don't exactly operate like that, um, but sure. Um, okay, let me e finish something. Eagle up. goes by underneath his breath and says, I wonder who. What? <laughs> uh, I, I bring uh, Duota a tankard of ale. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and just, you know, just say, Good one. I mean, you know, just be some, a, a supportive friend. <laughs> you got my vote. But then I'm called Red Gun the Silent for a reason. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> that, that kind of works, too. Um, okay, let me save that. Whatever you, whatever you say. <laughs> okay, so um, that takes the better portion of the morning to do. Uh, so people kind of start eating. Uh, and, uh, uh, but the, the, the thimble rig contest kind of starts right before lunch. Thimble rig is played on a flat table with a variety of different sized thimbles. Each turn, a dried pea is put underneath a thimble. Then the thimbles are moved and stacked amidst various distractions from the crowd and the shuffler so that only the most careful observer will know where the pea ends its journey each turn. Criminals and flimflam men may cheat at simple versions of this game, but this version is monitored heavily by a few bay earnings chosen for their honor and forthrightness. So, you have one who is here. There's a, an older lady, and she looks extremely mean. Okay? <laughs> Terribly mean. And so she uh, she is trying to kind of stare down anybody that's there. But that, of course, isn't going to affect you guys. Who would like to participate in this? It requires a decent awareness. I would. I'm both favored and have two ads. Okay, Luthwin uh, favored with two ranks. Uh, who else? I got two ranks. Okay. Uh, that is Ewald. You have two ranks. Is your awareness favored, though? That's not favored. Okay. It's not underlined. So. Uh, and what is the skill for this? Uh, awareness. Awareness. Two ads in it, but it's not favored. Is everybody pretty much the same? 
Uh, I'm favored. Uh, Luthwin is favored with two ranks. Yuld is not favored with two ranks. Uh, so if you want to throw your hat in the arena. Sure. Okay. So. Is mine favored or no? Uh, hang on just a minute and I will get yours. Radigant, what do you have? What, is your awareness underlined? No, it's not. Okay. It's not fair. And it still won't allow me to do that. Okay, that's all right. Um, and it, you have two ranks in it? Yes. Okay. Awareness two. Okay, now let me close this one so that I can open Eagle. Eagle three, Fox ten. Um, <laughs> Eagle. Uh, you Eagle have, Delta. You have an awareness of one. And it is not uh, favored. No. Okay, so you're not going to try that. Anybody else? Wait, which one are we doing? This is thimble the rig. And the, shells. the peas and the thimbles. Oh, peas and the thimbles. It's the show game. Yeah, it's the awareness. It this the awareness skill. Yes, no, maybe. I could give it a shot. Okay. Uh, hang on. Enter B, and we're talking to Duota. Uh, is your awareness underlined? It is not. It is not. And how many ranks do you have in it? Two. Two? Okay. Well, then you know what? We're going to start from the bottom and work our way up because Luthwin is uh, favored and so is Ethel, the unkind. Uh, so. Duota, you're first. Just click on awareness. Okay. Are we gonna do any, you know, pluses or minuses? Um. Oh. 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 Yes. 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 Uh, target number is standard, but it's a minus two for the first roll, a zero for the second roll, and a plus two for the third roll, because this is also a prolonged test. Double tap. Okay. First roll with a minus two. Mm -hmm. Go. Nope, that doesn't make it. Second roll. Second roll with a zero. Mm-hmm. Go. Ooh, success, and you got one Tangwar rune, so that's worth two. Okay. Nice. Yeah, and your third roll at plus two. Okay. And go. Go, go, gadget, dice. Uh, okay, so let's see. You succeeded, but you didn't have any Tangwar runes, so that's worth one. So that gives you three. All right, Radigand? What is the difficulty on this? Um, you're just rolling okay. against your standard. Awareness is based out of, I believe it is wits. Oh, it, uh, awareness is based out of strength. Strength, okay. Awareness is based out of strength, so it default it kind of defaults to your strength plus uh, whatever ranks you have in uh, uh, in in the game. All right. Well, a minus two, right? Yep, you're at a minus two for right now. Uh. Okay. Nope, that was a failure. You rolled a zero on that one. Uh, fortunately, uh, you yeah. can't disconnect here. Um, <laughs> yeah, this, this has got me flummoxed, obviously, so let me try the next one with an, uh, a zero, zero. On, mm -hmm. on the, uh... Okay, so that's a success, but I can't read your dice, so I need to read this over here. Okay, you got a Gandalf's rune, so that's worth two. <clears throat> okay. Nice. And awareness, now it's a plus two. Right? Plus two, yes. Just a uh, number two, huh? Mm-hmm. And, and it does add the dice the way that it's supposed to. Okay, that's a great success. And you, okay, so you're going to get two out of that because you had a basic success on your feet die and then one Tangwar rune. So that's four. Okay, Yuld, it's your turn. 
All right, here we go. Wait, oh, sorry. I thought it was fine. I. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so, uh, right. okay. So, wait a minute. You old? Have you rolled yet? I haven't rolled yet. No. Okay. We go ahead, and Lethwin should continue. I guess. Uh, no. Oh, was that minus two? No, I'm 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 running in a particular way. Uh, you old. Oh, okay. Minus two on right. your roll. All right, here we go. Okay. Ooh. Oof. Oof. Ugh. <laughs> Fortunately, we're not taking away <laughs> points on this. Uh, second roll with uh, <laughs> with a zero. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so that's a basic success. So that counts for one. Uh, and then let's do your last roll. With a plus two. All right. That's your turn. Now, bear in mind, all of this is happening at the same time. Okay, you got three on that one because you've got a Gandalf's rune and a Tangwar rune. Yes. So that gives you four, but you and Radigand might end up head to head. Okay, Luthwin, now it's you your don't turn. Do this. <laughs> You are favored, and but you are at a minus two. Go down to the bottom. There you go. See, you're favored. Uh, oh, okay, but it still wound up as a failure. So, okay, go for your next one with a zero uh, penalty. Okay, let's see. Uh, you got a basic success, so that counts for one. And your third one at a plus two. <laughs> God, that's a lot of dice. <laughs> okay, ooh, you got a, a Gandalf's rune and a Tangwar rune. That counts for three. So that's three of you that have four each. Let's see how Ethel the Unkind <laughs> does. Okay, so let's see. I got to pop open Ethel. Uh, Ethel. Okay. And uh, uh, because Andrew has to get up and go to work tomorrow, and some of you may, uh, others may have to be up early, we're going to bring this to a close here in a few minutes. Okay. So first roll for Ethel at a minus two. Uh, backspace minus two. Oh, oh, I'm still clicked on Eggle here. Sorry. Uh, okay, that was a failure all the way around. So, uh, Ethel. Uh, let me un, un uh, deselect. Actually, let me just remove. Would that count? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, it's just marked Would as... Would count since you didn't roll the right character? Well, no, I rolled Ethel, um, the unkind, but I had e uh, Eagle selected. That's the only reason that Eagle shows up at the top of that. Now it's just going to be Ethel. So, or it may be GM. I don't know. Okay, let me roll this next one. And this is at a zero. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> she got a success, so that counts for one point. It says and, Tithanon now. Yeah, Tithon, and that's that's me, the GM. So, okay, so the last one is at plus two. Oh crap! Okay, oh my so gosh. <laughs> so one basic success and three Tangwar <laughs> runes that counts for four. One, two, three, four. So that's a total of five. So uh, there will be no reason for the rest of you to to uh, uh, do anything special um, because uh, Ethel wins. Now, you have a feeling that Ethel has <laughs> won before, uh, and it, it's, it's kind of galling a little bit, but you can tell... That there is, I'm not even going to have you guys roll for this. There, is, she does not cheat. Okay, it's just her awareness is so very good, and it's favored that uh, that she just 
pretty much automatically catches things. So she didn't she didn't catch the pee. None of you caught the pee on the first go round. All of you caught the pee on the second go round and the third. But uh, uh, it was the amount of time, the, the the least amount of time, that was important here. So. All right, so that's Thimble Rig. Okay, so any questions before we call it a night? Nope. Uh, all right. If nobody's got any questions, then then I hope you all have a great evening and a wonderful week. And uh, and I'll talk with you later. Okay. Thank you, everyone. All right. Good night, everybody. All right. See you next Hi, time. Andrew. <laughs> Right. Uh, I, I heard you. <laughs> I, I already knew the answer to that as well.